If you are a teenager looking to start your YouTube career, this is the perfect video for you. I'm going to explain my setup, why I chose every bit of gear that I use, and show you that while this is what you see, my beautiful face with some nice ambient lighting around me, this is what I see. All this stuff right here, I will show you how you can use it to start creating your YouTube videos and make your channel skyrocket. So stay tuned. So starting with the camera itself, here it is. Usually I will use the SL2 and then a 50 millimeter lens to achieve some nice background blur. And then coming from this camera is a 3.5 millimeter extension cable to another camera, which is only being used to put a microphone on top. This is the Tackstar mic. It's a very popular mic. It's only 20 bucks and it allows you to boost the levels within the microphone itself. So I boost the levels using the plus 10 decibel gain switch and that allows me to turn the preamps on the SL2 way down so that you can get some better audio coming from the camera. You never ever want to put a shotgun mic directly on top of the camera because when you're standing five feet away, it's just not going to pick up your voice and when you try and raise the levels in post-production, it's just gonna end up being all noisy and audio is 50% of your entire video's quality. So make sure that you set up some kind of good audio system, whether it's a boom pole or a do-it-yourself version, what I did here with the tripod and the camera, definitely make sure that your audio is good. Just so you guys know, I will have all the products linked in the description below if you're interested in buying, whether it's the mic or the camera or the tripod or the light. And lighting is what comes next. It's super important, of course. Lighting is a huge part of your videos and you should not try and go short on lighting. So this is the lighting setup coming up next. Right here I have the newer 480 LED light panel and usually I will have it set up right there next to the camera so that the light falls directly on my face over there. But right now I have it here just to light the other things like the mic over there. So this light panel is really good. It was around $50 plus the light stand, it comes with barn doors so that you can aim where the light falls on your subject. You can move these side to side and up and down, which is really helpful. I would definitely recommend, however, getting a diffuser for this light. That way you can get a really nice soft look on your face rather than a harsh, bright look, which is not what you should be aiming for. The higher end lights like the Aperture 120D come with a huge softbox that helps to achieve this look but you definitely want to make sure to put some kind of diffusion in front of your light panel. So the light that I just showed you is very important, but there are other aspects of lighting that could be potentially even more important. And that is the ambient lighting that you see behind me. I have this warm light right here that usually puts some like lighting on my hair right here. It's a nice backlight. And then also this blue light right here. This is super important. Basically what it does, it, it eliminates the shadow that would fall on the wall because of the Strawn LED panel over here. So the blue light counteracts the main light right over there, and that way there's not a huge shadow on the wall, which would not look good. Make sure that you spend a lot of time and thought into your ambient lighting. It's what creates the character and the feel of your videos, and ambient lighting is very, very important. I would definitely recommend this light to anyone. It is the Aperture Armin ML9, I think, and it is just a great light. It is around 50 bucks, super portable. It charges, and while it's charging, it can be turned on. So definitely check out that light. I'll have links for it in the description. It's a great way to add a lot of light to your videos. Also, always charge your batteries. Have a place where you can keep your batteries charged and continuously charging. You'll never know when you might need extra batteries, extra power, keep, your battery's charged, so I have an outlet here, and then one also over here with a huge adapter so that I can have multiple things charging at one time. Make sure you're always charging your extra batteries. Super important. One last thing you should definitely have is a nice, trusty roll of gaff tape. 
This thing just has saved my life so many times. Whether you're trying to fix a light, prop something up like this light over here, or fix up a tripod or something like that, gaff tape will save the day. Definitely get some gaff tape. The last thing that you should definitely consider doing is creating your studio next to a pair of big windows. These right here, the light just comes in through the windows and falls on my face right here. And it just makes the lighting a lot better when I have the main light coming from there and then a soft, diffused light on cloudy days coming in from right here. As long as your studio is by some windows, the lighting is gonna look a lot better automatically. Definitely try and set up your studio where there are windows that will put some nice, soft, diffused light on your face. While this may seem complicated, it's actually not too bad. All you need to remember is that you put the camera onto the tripod, make sure no matter what that the microphone is close to your mouth and not mounted five feet away on top of the camera itself. And then also just have some nice lighting like this, make sure it's diffused. That's another huge thing when it comes to lighting and bam, you're pretty much good to go. Add some ambient lights in the background, some fairy lights, some warm tones on one side, cool on the other. I like doing that kind of thing. And then you're good to go, ready to make YouTube videos. This is how I do it. It's how you can do it too. So there you have it. This is my YouTube setup. It's not that hard to set up, you know, just a few tripods, pull it out, set them up. And there you go, you're good to go. So you can do this too. It's not that hard. And once you start to implement some of the things that I've said in this video into your channel and your videos, you will notice that they are a lot better when it comes to audio and the visual quality when it comes to lighting as well. So yeah, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. To the people still watching, you are the people, the human individuals, each with your own creative minds that I want to hear this message. And that is, thank you for 100 subscribers. We made it and it's just hard to imagine because just a little bit ago we were at 20, 30, 40. And to think that each one of those 100 people has their own minds, their own personalities and opinions on whatever, it's pretty amazing. And eventually, you know, we'll get there to 200, 400, thousand two thousand ten thousand twenty thousand a hundred thousand maybe you know we'll see but thank you for each and every one of your support and i'm glad you're here with me so i hope to see you all next time bye